comfortable. All right, so, um, yes, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be doing, I mean, they're not similar. The claims are not at all the same for these two foundations. I'm going to do not a battle, but like a battle uh, of these two foundations um, that I recently got. And I'm thinking I'm going to have to exchange for different colors because they might be a little too light for me. I wore one yesterday when I went out for dinner and I felt like the person I went with kept freaking looking at the differences, but I wasn't about to tell this person, you know, like, oh, I'm testing out a foundation. Like, no. Um, so, yeah, I'm, oh, let me tell you which ones. So I'm doing it between the Patrick Ta new foundation and the Huda Beauty um, Easy Blur foundation. So again, completely different uh, claims, yada, yada. I don't know what they are other than this one's like luminous you don't need any skincare blah 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 this one it's supposed to blur i actually have the primer as well because i think i have a lot of money but i don't so i buy shit um so yeah i'm gonna this one's gonna be patrick john this one's gonna be head of beauty and again i think the shades are off um i did it based on the sephora like recommendation of my actual correct shade which was the fenty 260 so this is what it suggested, which was 230 neutral or macaroon, whatever. And this one's 11 golden. They just are very, the shades themselves don't look all that like, like this looks fucking light. Like if you can tell, um, it, it's very, to me, it's light. Like, I don't know. And then the other one, it's in a frost. I mean, it's not frosted, but it's like this weird packaging and it's, you know, I don't know. You'll see. So on this side, am I going to do primer? Mm, yeah, I'll do just the, the e.l.f. Um, poreless, liquid poreless one. Because on the Huda one, I'm going to do the Huda um, primer. I just had breakfast, so I feel like I have crap in my teeth. So I already did all my skincare for this side. Um, and that was a while ago, like at 11. And it's 11.30 because I'm on my lunch right now. So I figured to let it sink in and everything, and supposedly you don't need any um, skincare. This is not the first time that I've used either foundation. Um, I've used the Patrick Ta now, I think. This will be thrice that I use it, the third time. Um, I don't remember if I wore it to the Karin Leon concert I went to. Um, end of the month in August? I can't remember, honestly. I don't think I did. Um... But yeah, on this other side, I'm going to do the Huda Beauty Easy Blur Primer. You're supposed to do two fingers worth for your full face, so I'm just going to do like one finger for this side. And I did use this one yesterday, and I liked it. Like, I actually like the combo of the um, primer and the foundation. It's just my nose got a little weird, though. I don't know if it's because, like, the skin prep I did, which I always do the same, or the powder I don't know but my nose kind of I felt like it looked weird but then at the end of the night it looked fine so okay I mentioned already it's 11 30 um so I'm gonna do like a wear test and check in I literally have nothing to do and it's finally not like balls hot here in San Diego so maybe it won't be um too hot if I go on a little walk with the dogs oh that's not the box all right so, I'm going to let that just oh, break. My back hurts. I'm going to let that sink in a little bit. Oh, I hate this spot that I have. Anyways, um, this had already sank in, the primer. So, I'm just going to give it a shake. And then I'm just going to do like one or half, almost a full pump. And I'm just spread it out. Like, I don't know, I feel like it's not my shade. And I'm going to use two different brushes. So for um, the Patrick one, I'm going to use the Rose and Ben C42. And for my Huda Beauty one, I'm going to use the It Brushes Love is the Foundation. One of their Love is the Foundation brushes. But, just hit my little handheld. Like... See, I feel like it's way too light, and this is 11 golden, like, oh really?
but like I like the coverage like it's not full by any means I feel like it's more um medium if that maybe I do need a full full pump but see I feel like I'm so pale like compared to my freaking tan chest so yeah I'm, I like it I'm not gonna like return it I'm just gonna exchange it for a darker shade half of my forehead and like even if I drag it down to my neck I feel like it doesn't make a freaking difference so I'll do this side of the nose on my lips all right so there I'm like seeing myself in the little mirror and I feel like I'm so pale. All right, so there's that side. And then my back hurts because of the stupid chairs I sat in yesterday. I'm gonna give the hood a one a shake as well. And I'm gonna put it <clears throat> on the other hand. Oh, like that. And then I'm just gonna I don't know why I blow out my cheek like a fucking blowfish. Uh, like that. And then I'm gonna use this brush. Maybe I'm gonna spread it out a little. See, it's so fucking light. Like, no, that definitely is not my shade. Oh, I forgot this fucking brush shakes like crazy. <laughs> Spread this out. So I saw all the freaking drama about this foundation from Michaela and everything, talking about how like she was pretty much giving a, a crap review. Um, I don't know. Everybody craps on her, so it's like, then why do people still follow her? I don't understand. I don't care. I don't go. Honestly, I don't think. What have I bought because of Michaela? Like, I don't think... I don't know. I don't care. Like, whatever. She's getting her money anyway, so what does it matter? I'm pretty sure I have bought shit, like, because of her recommendations. Pretty sure. But I don't think they've been, like, bad recommendations. The only thing I didn't like was her palette was Glam Light, but it's because it obviously was a rainbow one. I was just doing the whole FOMO thing. But I wanted it, and... I gave it to my niece, I don't even know how long ago. But I didn't get pot too or nothing. Alright. I feel like the shades look similar, like, to each other. Um, but, I mean, obviously I still think they're way too fucking light. Sure. I feel like this one's even lighter than this one. Yup, yup, yup. Alright, so there's that. And I'm just going to... Come on. I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup like off camera though, um, and then uh, maybe I'll come back when I'm doing like my blush because I did get the Cali Ray blush um, in shade Dope, so I'll try that. Uh, but let me just do everything else. So I will be back. Okay, so I turned off the light that I had because I felt like it was making it was kind of washing me out even more. Um, but yeah, I just did concealer bronzer and that's it um so yeah let's do the blurry blush from cali ray in shade dope so since i haven't put any powder products yet and i did try this one out yesterday as well and i liked it um but i've only tried it on an unset face i saw i think it was ali dawson that did like a review not a review but she was testing out new makeup and she also had purchased the, it's funny because she purchased like the exact same order kind of that I did so it must have been when everything got released like um for like Rouge members or whatever but yeah that's the blush it's really pretty I like it because I'm gonna powder it anyways it's not gonna be as bright even though I don't mind it but I do need to set my face like I can't I've tried the not setting mm -hmm. thing but this was not for me. I didn't care for it. Um, but yeah, let me just finish up. I just wanted to show how the blush looks and everything. But I will be back after I set 
and maybe do a little eyeshadow. I don't know. I did buy this um, Give Beauty, what's it called? Simple kind of life little, it's not a quad. It's got a, more than four shadows. Um, it's a, it's got six. So I bought this because it's brand new, but it was like 50% off. It was like 19 bucks or something like that. And I used it yesterday and I really liked it. So I'll probably use this one again. Like her shimmers are really pretty. So yeah, just gonna set everything, do a little eyeshadow look. And then keep, oh, you can't see, but I'm watching uh, Spy Family. I'm on the last episode. So I'm going to keep watching my anime and I will be right back. So I'm done with the face. Um, I was going to do the Gwen Stefani palette, but I forgot I picked up the Rose Quartz palette um, from Sephora. It was 50% uh, off. So I figured let me pick it up and use this one. So it looks like this. And yeah. So, and then because I have more pinky kind of lips, so I'm just going to go in with the Boost and Lock eyeshadow primer from the Sephora brand, the Sephora collection brand. I like it. Um, I already have a backup of it because I got it when they had like a 30 or 40% off uh, Sephora collection sale. So figure better stock up because I do that. But yeah, I feel like the foundations look the same at this point. Um, like this one is already kind of creasing right here, but it does be, um, but like I said, they're not, they don't claim to have the same freaking finish or anything like that. So it's not like really a comparison. It's more like a, which one do I like better kind of thing. Um, I'm like, I'm already kind of creasing here. Like I like how the Huda one looks, um, more matte, I guess. And that's with me putting freaking the Catrice like dewy spray and it still looks you know like that this one does look more skin like over here but see you can see my freaking big ass freckle thing I don't know what to call it um and I feel like with this when I wore this foundation yesterday all over it is more of a medium one and this one's more of a light coverage so I don't know if that's what he claims that it is like light to medium buildable or something I have no idea to be honest um, but, you know, it is what it is. So for the Huda one, I feel like I'm going to go in with Gratitude, this one right here, that one, I'll just use the mirror here. Uh, yeah, because I don't know why with these Huda ones, they never are the shade that's in the pan, like ever. It's all, like, it looks more like a brownish freaking mauve color and it's looking pink here so I don't know if that's how it comes off on camera but just doing a crease oh my gosh it's getting hot now it's almost 12 so my base didn't take me all that much I feel like it only took me as long as it did because I was watching the show. I had wanted this palette for a long time, but I just didn't end up getting it. And honestly, I know that Huda always puts them on like sale at Sephora. So I was like, oh wait, considering I have a, pretty much all of her palettes, I'm like... I feel like I needed to get it just to complete the set. Yeah, on this side I feel the sweat from my upper lip coming through on the Patrick Ta side compared to the Huda side. Um, I don't know. I don't know what color to do on the lid. I'm doing it very simple, honestly. I think I'm just gonna do. I think Cosmic Love. This one here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This one. I'm going with my finger. It's one of those that like has different colors on it, and I'll probably just put. Oi, oi, oi! It's dark. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was gonna be more um, purpley pink, but it's more like it shifts. So it probably looks. I don't even know what the hell color it looks over here, but for me, it looks purple if I go like that, and then blue if I go over here. Oh, it's dark. It's a lot darker than I was 
intending, but you know, I already did it, so here we are. Yikes. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna put Moon Magic. Oh, I hope it really is this like pinky color. What is it? Where is it? This one in here? It's like bluey. What? It's like bluey, pinky, shifty. Yeah, it's more of a nicey blue. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not going anywhere. It doesn't have fallout. Uh, a little bit of fallout, but I'm also not using any glues or brushes. Well, I think I think you're not using the brushes actually better. Um, I like the color though. I'm gonna blow off all the chunky parts. Another Singe Beauty. This one's the EO2. I'm just gonna try to buff as much as I can over here in the inner corner. Nothing crazy. I was going for a very demure look. That didn't happen. So that's fine. Uh, for the lower lash, I'm just gonna go in with that same gratitude color that I have in the crease. Just gonna smoke it out. No smoke in the pancake. Alright, I think I'm just going to leave it like that, honestly, because it wasn't even about the eyeshadow today. So, for lips, I have one of the e.l.f. lip liners. I don't know. It's the rosy one. It's so little because I use it all the time. And a Clarins lip oil in the shade Cherry. It does not go. does not matter. It's fine. For mascara, I'm just going to curl my lashes. So, I'm just going to do the Melt Cosmetics Mascara. It's, I just know it's easier to take off than all the other ones that I have that are more fiber ones. That, uh, what are they called? Threading? No, what the fuck is it called? Um, tubing. Oh, Lord. Threading. A tubing mascara that I have to, like, sit there and be massaging it off with water. So... This one's just regular old mascara. Okay, so that's what the makeup is going to look like today. I'm already freaking hot and sweaty. I'm going to wash my brushes after I'm done with work and probably take the dogs out. And then I'll check in and everything. Um, but yeah, again, this is the Patrick Ta side. This is the Huda side. So it is now 12. I have to get back to work. Um, but yeah, I will be checking in later to see what it's looking like, but this is what it looks like right now at noon. So yeah, I'll be back. Alright, so we're two hours in, and I'm not doing the back-facing camera, and there's also no flash. Um, so just a quick little, um, update. So this is the, I was gonna say Tom Ford. <laughs> I have nothing Tom Ford, so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um... <laughs> That was so fucking random. Maybe because I see the T. So this is the Patrick Toss side over here where I have my disgusting freckle. And this is the Huda Beauty. Um, I mean, I can come in. So it still looks very, I guess, dry, matte, um, which I don't mind. So yeah, this one's this one. And this one is looking more like, like shiny because this one, I only had the poreless elf primer. Um, but I mean, I didn't have any mattifying anything on it, but this one does look more like skin, obviously. Um, and this one over here, well, is it, sh no, I feel like it is shinier over here, like even up here. Because over here on this side, it's just the highlighter that I put. But everything else is looking matte. Over here, I mean, I don't feel like I'm oily anywhere else other than my nose, which I do get very oily there. Um, but yeah, it is 1.37, just a quick little check-in. I'll probably check in again, I don't know, maybe after I take the dogs out for a walk. Um, but yeah, I haven't touched anything up. The only thing I put was more of the Clarins lip oil, um, because my lips were already getting a little dry. Uh, but yeah, that is the first check-in. The next one's probably gonna be the last check-in because it is. I'm done with the wear test. It's like 8.03, so that's what, 11.30. Let's say I got done at 12, so that's like eight hours. Um, 
this with the freckle over here is the Patrick Ta and this is the Hooded Beauty. So, obviously I'm shinier on this side because the foundation itself is dewy. So yes, it's shiny but not crazy. I didn't blot, I didn't do anything like that with either side. This side, my smile lines are there but it's not as deep as it usually gets like with my Fenty. Um, so fine um i mean i like both sides but again the shades are completely off i'm gonna go exchange them hopefully tomorrow i've been saying this for i don't even know how many days now um but yeah this is the final part of the wear test so obviously different types of foundations I'm not claiming that they're similar in any way but i don't know just felt like doing a little comparison since i bought both my lips have obviously worn off i ate dinner and whatnot the eyeshadow creased a little, um, all the glitter mainly because I didn't use a glitter glue. Um, but yeah, I hope the audio is good because I didn't hook it up to the freaking, what's it called? The little mic that I have. I just am recording from my phone and I'm sure you'll hear the fans. We'll see. But yeah, uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. I will be uploading more videos. Give me ideas on what you want to see. Mm, do I have any new eyeshadows coming? I don't think so. But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see and make sure you subscribe. <laughs> I think I said that. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!